I'll show you something I've been working all day on, and that's wiring up this control panel uh, for the VFD. That's the stop, start, forward, reverse, and the potentiometer. Uh, I've got a shout out to Brandon or a diesel ram charger as he's known on YouTube. Uh, this guy virtually spent his entire day helping me with this. Uh, I'd gotten so confused mainly because of this little gadget right here. This is the forward reverse switch and when it came to me it was uh, had two blue ones. These are modular switches. Uh, these iDeck switches you can just pop them in or out, but they were both normally open. And uh, I don't know if you can see it. See this plunger? This plunger comes up. It was simply pushing both switches on. You know, they were both either on or off. So uh, the VFD was getting confused seeing a forward and a reverse. Uh, logic or a pulse at the exact same time and it was just making everything run screwy and I, I could not figure it out thought it was something with the wiring and there was a few things with the wiring but uh, we finally with his urging I took the the stop button had a normally closed switch on it so I simply popped this normally closed switch off put it over here on the forward reverse and took the normally open and put it on the stop button. And uh, in the VFD, uh, again with Brandon's help, uh, helped me configure. Instead of seeing a normally closed switch here, it sees a normally open. This may be clear as mud to a lot of you guys, but I'm gonna step over it. If you do get a, a Fuji Frenic VFD, I'm gonna walk through the wire and how it how it comes through. This is the X1 goes to the X1 terminal and this is for the stop button. Out of the X1 I've got the common or the CM uh, wire All right, and from the same terminal I've got from the CM the common running over to the start button. All right, From the start button I've got a wire coming out of here going to one side of the forward reverse. All right, And on the forward reverse I've got a jumper that makes, actually this is making a common and in an earlier video you saw where I had this hooked up to a drum switch which was very simple, you simply hook the common to the drum switch and then a forward reverse and it worked fine in this setup it's sending logic uh, pulses back to the VFD you know whether it's a high or low voltage and it, it reacts based on that uh, and these switches are, are pretty nice once you get them wired up they simply plug in and they lock in place. And so now they're all locked in. Uh, another thing I would highly recommend finding some stranded wire. This is solid uh, thermostat wire and it it really sucks if it's going to be moving a lot because those solid wires they break off especially if you use a pair of pliers to strip them you can actually just strip them with your fingernail but if you strip them with a pair of pliers crimp them in just the least little bit they're going to break off so one of my plans is to change out all of these wires for stranded wire so. Now, let's turn it on and see what we get out of this. Alright, so we're in forward. We hit the start. We're in the forward rotation. Stop button. Change direction. Start. Now we're on the reverse. Potentiometer up here. Slow things down. Or speed them up. And 
That's the way it's supposed to work. Funny how a little bit of wiring can uh, can really kick your butt sometimes, but once again, if you break it down into core components, the way we finally did it was getting a forward and reverse to run, then moved on to the start button, and then on to the stop button. So, uh, and with a few calls of tech support. So, but anyhow, it's good to be able to do it yourself, but it's also good to have some help. Once again, I thank uh, Diesel Ram Charger for all his help. He really put in a full day on this, making phone calls and uh, being there available for me. Super nice guy. Can't thank him enough. All right, here we go. Once again, thanks for subscribing. Hit that button. Hit the like button. Channel's still growing. I certainly appreciate it. Y'all keep watching, and I'll keep making videos. Thank you. I need that book to work on that VFD. Can I have it? See, give me that book. Sit. Sit. Give me my manual. You better give me that. Zeke, can I have it? Huh? Can I have it? Come on, you gonna do all the work then? Huh? You sure? How about I trade you that for some food? Come here, bring it here. Sit. Come here, now give me that manual. Come here, see. You better give me that. Zeke, come on. Give it up. Come on. Let go. Come on now. I need that. You need to find something different to chew on other than my book. You understand? No. This ain't food. It could be food. Playing with a lot of money there, buddy. Go find something else. Go get me something else to play with. Go get a toy. Go get a toy. All right. Sign it off. One more time. You got it? Can you bark with that in your mouth? Huh? You always talking. Yeah, you'll try, won't you? Uh-huh, that's right. Always talking. All right, Zeke, here we go.